The Battle of Adwa was a culmination of several battles between the Ethiopian and the Italian armies for nearly a decade. Emperor Johannes and his general Ras Alula Abanaga would defeat the Italians in Sahati and Dog Ali in 1887. The final victory that would come to secure Ethiopian independence for decades to come would take place in Adwa central Tigray. In 1896. The Battle of Adwa is considered monumental as the first victory of an African nation against a European counterpart in centuries. In an introduction to the book The Battle of Adwa Reflections on Ethiopia's History Against European Colonialism, editors Paulus Milikas and Getacho Matafara would write that Adwa holds a significant place in African history. It challenges the demanding Western conceptions of African cultures. It demonstrates that being targeted for colonization is not a prelude to fatality in that colonialism can be defeated. On March 2, 1896, would come a sign of independence and gave courage to other Africans to fight against European colonialism. In the mid-19th century, the concept of Pan-Africanism would start to emerge. The social movement would bring together black people and people of African origin, unite to work on a common interest of black empowerment and resistance against European colonialism. By the late 1940s, with independence of many African countries, Africans took the lead in the Pan-Africanist movement. Most important African figures of that movement would become Kwame Nkrumah of Ghana, Jomo Kenyatta of Kenya, as well as Emperor Haile Selassie of Ethiopia, as well as many more. Significant progress over the past few decades would redefine Pan-Africanism, no longer fighting against slavery and colonialism. Pan-Africanism now mostly stands for integration and connection of infrastructure and social economic activity of African nations. Intellectuals across the continent emphasize that Pan-Africanism today must be to reinforce the links between the nations by establishing and strengthening the common institutions, harnessing the human capital by integrating the continent and providing avenues for intra-African trade so that this would lead to the improvement of individual lives through the improvement of access to education, healthcare centers, and food security. As the Organization for African Unity would be succeeded by the African Union in 2002 to further promote social, political, and economic integration of Africa. But the noble cause of Pan-Africanism has often been abused by African leaders across the continent hoping to escape accountability for human rights violations. The Ethiopian government government and Eritrean regime have been screaming the mantra of Pan-Africanism for their past year. The Ethiopian government has gone so far to claim that the silence of some African countries in the face of gross violation of human rights, the use of famine as a weapon of war, and the involvement of non-African states in the arming and financing of the Ethiopian government is a symbol of their African solidarity. The resolution of our internal matters was made exceedingly difficult by the role played by external actors. I wish to take this opportunity to thank you all for your support, solidarity, and understanding as we underwent these trying times. Nahusan Naibalai, a lecturer of a political science at Magala University, says reducing Pan-Africanism to a relationship between three dictators and their ambitions to escape accountability would be a desecration of the noble cause of Pan-Africanism today. Uh, the alliance between uh, Abiy, Isaias, and Formajo that we were uh, witnessing cannot be considered as, a, as uh, an alternative for uh, IGAD or the previous existing functional regional uh, blocks or organizations of uh, conflict resolution or uh, development cooperative frameworks. So far, what we have seen f from this uh, alliance, uh, alliance of uh, three dictators of the Horn, and the outcome is war. I, I see uh, no major development project. I don't see any railway project between Ethiopia, uh, Djibouti, or Ethiopia and Eritrea, or Ethiopia and uh, uh, Somali. Or I see no s major uh, uh, development corridor or a developmental aspiration from uh, the alliance of uh, uh, this emerging uh, friendship of dictators. Uh, what we can say is it's an alliance or, 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 or uh, a friendship based on vengeance or um, uh, for uh, vendetta reasons. But allowing Abiy Ahmed to lead a pan-African movement would be wrong for multiple reasons. For more than his corrupt intentions, Abiy Ahmed has at least one of occasion let it slip that he did not believe he was black. Yegonder na ibahar da airport ahonu mukulat agana billions yeta yekan nello. 
ጁንታ ያፈረሰው በሮኬት በእኛው ሮኬት ማንንም ሰው ደንተው አይደለም ባህር ዳር ላይ ሰው ሞቷል ጎንደር ሮኬት ሲተኮስ እንደ ቤተሰብ ደባልቅ ላይ ያለቁ ሰዎች እንደ ቤተሰብ አንድ ፋሚሊ ያለቃል አርሶ አደሮች ማንንም ሰው ያነሳ አረ የትግራይ ይቅር የትግራይ ይቅር በኒሻንጉል ላይ መተከል ዞን ስላለው ጭፍጨፋና መፈናቀል ማንንም ሰው ያነሳ ለምን እነሱ ጥቁሮች ናቸው አርሶ አደሮች ናቸው ምንም ገንዘብ የላቸው ፌስቡክ የላቸው ሎቢ አይቀጥሩ ምን ያስፈልጋሰ ነው ሰው መናገር አንድ ሰው አይናገሩ Now Sanna emphasizes that the idea of Habesha exceptionalism and at the same time attempts to exploit the pan-Africanism movement to escape accountability for your role is disempowering and African people stand starkly in contrast with one another. I don't think for instance in in so many instances uh I don't think Abi believed that uh, he is black. He doesn't consider himself as a black person. We have seen in many instances mentioning uh, and the I mean uh, relegating uh, issues what we might call the quote unquote Ethiopian ex- or the Habesha exceptionalism we have seen that but he tries to exploit and manipulate the pan-african notion of blackness and the black resistance while at the same time crushing in, uh, the demands of uh, uh, his own people in in in, in uh, Ethiopia But if we look beyond how Abiy Ahmed chooses to identify himself, we also find that the leader of one of the largest nations in the African continent has also taken part in perpetrating anti-black rhetoric. Bakoyo ya America ya gaza sirat ust betam yetegoda mibal mabresel tiquruna juno. Kuletum tegerfawal, techokonawal, tasrawal, indaisaru habt indayadereju honawal. Liyunetu ju ከሰፊው ራይት በኋላ ትንሽ መብት መታይ ሲጀምር ዘፈኑ ግጥሙ ፊልሙ ድራማ ወደፊት ሆነ እንዴት ዓለምን ኮንከር ማድረግ እንደሚችል ኢኮኖሚክ ፓወር መፍጠር እንደሚችል ያስባል ጥቁር ደግሞ እዚ ላይ ቆሞ ተናንተና ከገረፉ ገደሉ እንዲያደረጉ ይላል አሁን ያለው ትውልድ ተናንተና ውስጥ እንዲኖር አደረገው እነዚህ ደግሞ አሁን ነው ነገ ውስጥ እንዲያስብ አደረጉት 50 አመት አልሞላም ጁ ሀብታም ሆነ ጁ ፓወርፉል ሆነ ጥቁር መጻዳሃው ነው መጻነቱን አግኝቷል መዝፈን ይችላል ግን ደህነቱ መቀየር አልቻል While the victory of Adwa is sure to continue to be an important milestone in African history, Adwa should always be marked with deep reflection on how we can take the pan-African movement forward.